Hi. This is a subarctic beekeeper, one of the many north of Fairbanks, Alaska. It's spring and I am checking my mite boards. Did a oxalic acid vapor mite treatment a couple days ago. And I want to see what my mite drop is. And so my bottom boards for my hives have a hard coated plastic sheet that I pull out. When I pull it out, the bottom board is the frame of the bottom board and a screen. When I put the hard cardboard back in, that keeps the drafts from going up the bottom of the hive. And on this board, it's white. There is bits of wax, bits of pollen, some dead bees. I see some bright yellow pollen and bright orange pollen, which is cool. I might take those and put those under my microscope and see where they came from. I'm seeing actually bright yellow pollen and golden orangey pollen. And on my board here is a grid. And what I am looking for are these little red dots. They look like little tiny crabs. They don't look like that until you look at them under a microscope or a camera, but they're pretty distinguishable. And I have found the easiest way for me to do this, and whatever works for you works for you, is to take my camera and blow up, take a picture of each grid and blow it up so I can see how many mites are in each section. This early in the year, I know there's mites because this is actually a new hive that came up from California, this colony, and they bring them up. And mites are very common up down there. And they're only common up here if we don't treat for them. If we did treat for them, if everybody treated for them, I don't think we'd have a mite problem because we're so isolated up here. There are parts of the world where they don't have mite problems. No varroa mites, which is pretty cool because varroa mites suck, do a lot of damage. So I'm looking on here for these red oval shaped things. And I see some, good. They're like a darker red than, like the pollen and the wax and such is orange and yellow and brown. Isn't it nice that north of Fairbanks, Alaska, you get to hear a police siren? It's extremely unusual here. And it sounds like more than one. Hope everybody's okay. So I'm gonna continue on here and I am scraping off since I've seen that there's been a mite drop and it's early in the season. I wanna make sure that, you know, the mites are falling off the bees, that my treatment's working and it is. I'm not gonna bother counting them because one is too many and I'll end up treating them again mid-season and at the end of the season I'm scraping off the board to get all the pollen and such off of it it's got a clean board I'm gonna stick that back underneath the hive it just slides right in and move on to the next hive at the end of the season when I'm preparing for winter I will count mites Online, there's a couple of resources that can be helpful for determining what your mite count is. In warmer climates, I understand why they count and they can tolerate some mites. Up here, our winters are too long to tolerate any mites. And we put so much work into our colonies that having any mites um, just decimate our colonies. Oh, hello. It just, it's just not, uh, it's not worth it. So I'm going to another hive. And while I was pulling out that board, one of the ladies came out to greet me. This hive is very different than the previous hive. It has far less droppings on it, far less wax, pollen, propolis. Ooh, but there's a lot of mites. What I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take pictures while you listen to the police sirens and blow them up. 
We must have a fire close by. It's too many sirens for the police. We do have fires here, a lot of fires. But for very dry conditions and careless people. We have lightning storms that cause wildland fires. Pretty brutal. I need to stand up and look around. I'm squatting behind my hive. I'm going to stand up and look around and see what I can see here. Because that sounds awfully close. I'm going to say goodbye for now. This has been a subarctic beekeeper. And uh, I hope you have a safe weekend. Treat for mites and check your mite loads. Take care of your bees. Everything's copyrighted. Take care.